everybody, it's Cindy. It is Sunday. It is October 25th, and I'm here for another sit and stitch with me. Today I'm going to be working on Heartstring Samplery. His eye is on the sparrow. Beautiful piece. And I'm going to be working on this cow up here. I finished this basket and this flower, and I did half of the cow yesterday. So I'm going to be uh, working on that today. As you could see, Bring it in a little closer. Look at that basket, it's beautiful. I really like the basket. Then I did the flower, and as you can see, I did half of the cow. So that is what I'm gonna be working on today. I hope everybody is doing well out there. I cannot believe we are at the end of October. I was, uh, it was a busy week. It's always a busy week in work for me, but we had a lot going on. I ripped out my garden yesterday in the front. Um, we had a frost last week and it killed the zinnias and pretty much the sunflowers were on their way out also. So, It's sad when you have to rip out the garden. My whole front garden is naked. There's hardly anything out there now um, because I do. Hang on a second. Uh, because I do plant all zinnias and sunflowers. It's a brand new garden for me here. I will be adding a lot of other things next year, but it was just a trial for me in this area we have a lot of deer and the deer definitely ate a lot of stuff on me i just planted pansies in my planters out by the um, mailbox and of course they ate them all already so that's just the way it is i have to get used to the area but i'm going to be planting a lot more deer resistant resistant uh things this year next year uh, the peppermint and spearmint, the uh, sage, thyme, oregano, rosemary, they're all growing back again and growing really good. So I have those all winter here, which is good. I have something. They're in my back deck and they're in uh, galvanized steel planters, which is good. Um, I enjoy it. But it's a lot of work when you rip it out, but... I think I was just more sad than anything else. Um, I miss my garden. We're at the end of October. We're going into November. And I know I'm going into my, my least favorite time of year, but it is a bigger stitching season for me. I have been working on smaller pieces, definitely not uh, working on bigger pieces. And I have a lot to show on my next uh, regular video, but just doesn't have time. One, two, three, four. I'm just counting people. I just haven't had time. I've been doing other things. Uh, but I did go to Hobby Lobby last week and pick out some finishing materials for the pieces I have stitched and I want to fully finish. And I started the process a little bit the other day. So I did get a little of it done. And maybe later on today I'll, I'll work on it and finish up a couple of more pieces fully finished. I do have to um, send some pieces out to be uh, fully finished and framed. And my good framer is about two and a half hours away. And I don't know if I want to drive all that just for the frames. And then I am considering using total framing. I know a lot of people have used them. They do post on Instagram. They do beautiful work. I know uh, Brenda sends it out, Brenda and the Serial, uh, serial Starter Laura. I know Brenda sends hers to Total Framing. She always shows her pieces when she gets them back, and they do a really good job. So I, I'm considering using them and mailing them out and seeing how I like the process. I'll do one, and then I'll do another, because I have a couple uh, bigger pieces that I don't want to do myself. They're... Uh, 
they're more special. The smaller pieces I feel comfortable, um, but the much bigger pieces I really do when I put that much time into a piece and it's beautiful and I really prefer having that uh, professionally framed. So we shall see. That's what I've been uh, thinking of. And I did a D-stash video yesterday. Thank you if you participated in purchase patterns. I D-stashed 77 patterns and pretty much almost all of them are gone. Uh, it's a lot of work though. Uh, it, it, it was fun though. And people get to take a look at all the patterns, even if they don't buy anything. It's great. A lot of people enjoyed just watching the uh, patterns and seeing what they want to put on their wish list, which is kind of funny. Uh, but it's a lot of work uh, gathering the patterns, making sure everything is going to the right person. So the sad part is, is I still have a whole box of patterns <laughs> to de-stash. Um, I'm just being led to minimize and downsize and purge and clear out. Now that's just me. It's not like I don't ever want to stitch, but I know I could never stitch all the patterns I have and I'd rather see them go to a stitcher and stitch them and enjoy them or put them in their collection, whatever, you know, whatever they are. I'd rather have them go into a good home than sit here and I know I'll never get to them. There's so many patterns we all want to do. Uh, there's so many beautiful designs out there, but there's only so much time. I work full time, so I don't have a lot of time. Some people have more time than me. Some people stitch five hours a night. I don't do that. Uh, maybe two or three hours a night I stitch. And I haven't really been stitching that much, but I will. I'm going into full stitching mode season. <laughs> That's what I call it. <laughs> Because at some point, when we turn the clocks back, and I think that's, isn't that next Sunday? Ugh, just the thought of it makes me want to cry. But it is what it is. It's that season. The next couple weeks, you know, it, we, we don't know what we're in for. The You can feel the tension in the air. And that's when I'll hunker down and just, you know, do my stitching and walking, and that's about it. Well, this would be too more, more indoors than outdoors. Uh, it gets dark really early. By the time you get out of work, it's like a half hour, and then it's dark. So, bah. <laughs> and I know a lot of other people feel it. And I think when you have a garden, like I feel it more because I know my garden's done for the season. I know it's the circle of life, you know, it's seasons. And I do enjoy seasons. I just, it's my least favorite season, but I'm, I do have things planned. I am going to be keeping myself very busy. In December, I'm going to be doing the 12 days of Christmas. So I'll be putting out a video 12 days straight in December uh, to celebrate the season and There'll be some great giveaways, and I'm just going to be spreading some cheer. I think everybody could use a little extra cheer, and that'll keep me busy. Um, that'll give me something to do every day. and Keep my eyes, my eyes focused on other things than me. <laughs> Focus on giving and putting out into the world, which is going to be good. And I do have some ideas for it. Uh, it'll be quick little, probably 10 minute videos every day, not long videos, but I think people will enjoy it. Birds of inspiration, uh, things like that. Work was very busy this week. I had, I had a lot of great conversations with people this week on the phone. I, I talk on the phone. I do, I do insurance. I do sales and service and I speak to people every day. Imagine that always talking, <laughs> but I spoke to a bunch of people this week. They, they, sometimes people could restore your faith in humanity. And that's kind of what happened this week. I spoke to one gentleman had, um, purchased a house in August and 
They never paid for his home insurance, his policy. And we were, were about to cancel him because it never got paid. And this is from August. And uh, he's like, that was supposed to be paid at closing. I've been paying my mortgage already. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I hear you. Because they lump in your taxes and insurance usually into your escrow account when you pay your mortgage. So I took some basic information and I had to call like four different people to get to the bottom of it. I called the person who handled the closing. It's like, oh, you know, we don't do that. You know, call the mortgage company. I called the mortgage company. They're like, oh, well, their mortgage was sold. We're the new mortgage company. And they said it was already paid. So then the guy who handled, you know, who helped them buy the house and stuff, he's like, call the title company. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. The title company handles all that. So I called the title company and they said, oh, we paid with check, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, we never got the check. I'm like, where did you mail it to? And they mailed it to the wrong address. So that's why we never got it. So in the end, she said she was going to cut another check and, you know, they're going to express it to us. So I'll get it next week. But I called the gentleman back. I'm like, listen, I got to the bottom of it. They're going to send a new check. And he's like, thank you so much. You know, sometimes this helping somebody out with something so simple like insurance. You know, he was all stressed out about it. And of course, you know, you don't want your home policy canceled. So I took care of it. But everybody in the process was super nice and super helpful. And call this number, call that number. And I didn't have to do any of this. It's, it's actually the customer's responsibility, not mine. But I felt bad for him. And I wanted to make sure... He was taken care of. Hold on, I'm counting here. One, two. Okay. So, he did get taken care of, and in the end, that's all that mattered to me. It wasn't even my customer. It was somebody else's customer. And I let her know. I'm like, hey, you sold this policy. I'm just making sure we're getting paid for it. But everybody in the process was super nice, and that's pretty rare these days. Usually people don't have the patience or time for anybody else but themselves. But then I spoke to another gentleman, and he was, he had an interesting story. And it was just a, one of those good conversations, Not nothing I'm going to talk about, but super nice guy. Um, just talking about general things, the world in general <laughs> at this point. So it's good when you have, uh, good contacts, you know, every, every, every day it gives you, uh, restores your faith in humanity out there. Nothing's ever easy. Uh, just handling your insurance could be a nightmare. <laughs> for this poor guy. So anyway, not doing that. Twelve days of Christmas, I have um, some good things I'm going to put together. I will be doing giveaways every day, so you might want to check in on those videos. It'll be fun. Like I said, it'll... Uh, Give me something to do and focus on something else through the winter months of, of these times. Uh, so he's coming along good. Half his leg is done. He's cute. Give me one second, I forgot something. I had to go get my thread. Uh, but anyway, so this, is it this Friday or this Saturday? I think it's Saturday. Today's the 25th. Yeah, this Saturday is Halloween. I'm not a Halloween person at all. I don't like Halloween. Um, I was never really a fan of Halloween. That's why I don't stitch any Halloween. Uh, but I do love fall. But this, um, this Thursday, 
I will be doing a uh, fast for uh, four days. And when I do my fast, I haven't done one in a while. It's been a while and I really, I'm due for a fast. I have a juicer. I, I just do juice and water and tea. That's it. And I've done a fast uh, for 11 days before. So it's not something new. I'm counting one, two, three. Okay. Uh, so I will be doing a fast. I know also on Halloween is a blue moon, which is pretty rare, but I will be fasting and praying uh, for all things. So I haven't done one in a while, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. And people are like, oh, that's so easy. You don't have to worry about what you're eating, but I juice every day. So I use a juice, so you do have to. It is work to juice your own uh, things. I, I really like uh, carrot, apple, ginger. I do celery juice. Uh, it's definitely, it's work. <laughs> Anything you cook or make yourself is always extra work, but it's so worth it, and it's good for you. And that's what I will be doing starting Thursday so if anybody wants to join me on a fast let me know <laughs> uh, there's a lot of um there's a couple other fasts I know going on so I'm just gonna be participating in my own way uh, on my own so Fresh apples are really good this time of year. Um, I have a farm that I could go get fresh apples, so it's really good. So, and it's something I like, so it's not something that's really hard for me. Some people do fast other way. Some people just eat one meal a day. Uh, some people just um, eliminate breakfast. I mean, you could do fast in so many ways. You don't have to go to extremes, I guess. Like some people just do water. Um, I need juice. Um, I work. I need, it's harder to do if you're working for sure. But I do come home for work for lunch every day. I work pretty close to where I live. So I've been doing that. This past week is so nice. I mean, perfect, perfect weather during the day. In the middle of the day, it's a little bit cool in the morning, but then in the afternoon, it's that perfect weather. I've come home, you know, I make my lunch, and then I go lay in the lounge chair for the rest of my lunch. Soak up that sun. It feels so good. Um, so I do that uh, to enjoy the, uh, the sun. It's just awesome. I mean, I love just chilling in the sun and relaxing for a little bit. And then I head back to work and it was hard going back into work every day. Cause it was so nice. Even my manager was like saying, it's so nice. I'm like, I know it's hard to come back to work when you're, um, when the weather is so perfect. And yesterday it, it rained when I woke up in the morning. So at like 8 AM, I get up early. I went out and that's when I pulled out the garden after it rained because it's easier to pull out if the uh, soil is moist. So it wasn't that hard, although I shouldn't have been doing that. I, my back has been bothering me all week. I don't know what I did. I didn't do anything, but just one of those things. So I've been soaking in Epsom salt <laughs> in the bath. Uh, those things just happened. I really shouldn't have been pulling out the garden, but I did. And I'm okay today. I mean, it's still, my back is still a little funky, but it'll work itself. It'll work the kinks out. <laughs> this is what it is. Things happen. And when I woke up this morning, it's super sunny. I'm going to be going. I wanted to sit down and stitch first, though. Because sometimes if I don't, uh, in the morning, 
I just don't get to it. I do other things. I just get, my mind goes in 10 different directions. So I wanted to sit for an hour or two and stitch in the morning, and I find that really works good. And then if I stitch for an hour and a two in the evening, that's like four hours, so that's good. And I'm stitching this morning, so I said, oh, let me just put the camera on and share with everyone uh, what I'm working on. I did finish a couple of uh, fall pieces. I can't wait to fully finish them. Like I said, I might work on those later. But it's nice out, so after I sit and stitch, I'm definitely going to go uh, for a walk on my trail. It's beautiful out, and I know this weather is not going to last forever. It's just not. It's We're going into, you know, the, cooler, the colder season. So I'll definitely, I like getting out when it's nice. I take advantage and go out and... I think that's why I'm out all summer is the weather's nice and you don't get that weather all year. It's for a season. Uh, doing that. I thought I was going to have my son come November or December and I talked with him last week and he um, his plans have changed. So I was, a, uh, of course... I was a little disappointed, but I'm happy for him. He's, listen, he's a grown adult. He could go do what he wants, but I really just wanted to see one of my kids. I haven't seen any of my kids in a while, and I miss them. I just want to hug them. <laughs> that's, a, that's about it. I'll take a hug these days. So I was a little disappointed, and that that's what I was looking forward to, and I'm like, okay, I need to focus on something else so that's why I'm doing the 12 days of Christmas so you have my son to thank for that I'm like I need to focus on something else he has other he has other things going on other plans and I'm happy for him he's doing he's doing the best he can he wants to switch his job and switch where he moves you know where he lives and you know, he's just going through those changes right now, so he has a trip planned, and I'm happy for him. He'll have a good trip. He'll have fun. I know where he's going. I know he'll he'll probably love the area, so we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see what the good Lord opens up for him. Um, but I was looking forward to that for a couple months, <laughs> and... And then that was taken away. But it is what it is. It's life. That's just life. You have the ebbs and flows. And the other day, I don't know how I came across the song, but it's a song I haven't heard. Sorry about that. There was. It's a song I haven't heard in so many years. And music, it's a time stamp on your life. You could hear a song and it'll... It'll take you back to that time. And and I was really, I knew the song, but I was looking at all of the words. And oh my gosh, a song could just, it was, I was in tears. <laughs> this, a song could bring me to tears. That's a lot of songs though. But this song just brought me to tears. And the name of the song, I'll, I'll leave a link below. And the name of the song is He Ain't Heavy He's My Brother And it's the words um, If you listen to the words though the song could have different meanings to different people and there's a part in the song where he sings uh, If I'm laden at all oh I don't know I'm not a good singer but he explains that the people don't feel the greatness or have love for one another and the times we live in that you feel it one two three four I'm counting five <laughs> um and the beginning of the song goes, the, low, the road is long, 
with ever a winding turn that leads us to who knows where who knows where but i'm strong and i'm not going to sing anymore because hey i don't have the greatest voice but i'm going to leave the link listen to the words uh it just took me back to my childhood and uh, it was such an easy time <laughs> way back when uh, it was just an easier time and I don't know it's sometimes a song I haven't heard it in so long and now I've been listening to it like every day wow uh, that's just me. Does anybody have a favorite song that, that'll just bring you to tears? And I sent the link. My daughter, um, she's traveling back from Maine. She was in Maine for a while working on the show Lost, and her contract ended, and she was flying back uh, to the state of Washington. And I sent her the link to the song, and she's like, Mom, I'm on the flight. I don't have enough Wi-Fi. I'm like, okay, listen to it when you get there. Because I always like to know how it um how it affects somebody else. And she's young. She's probably not even going to know the song. But I know a lot of you out there will know this song. Because uh, you're probably more in my age group. But just certain songs will bring you to tears. I told her the song is making me cry. She's like... I'm like, I'm just a big baby. She goes, I am too. And she is, she's, she's a lot like me. We just feel, we feel a lot of things uh, just from a song. It's kind of funny. But she was traveling. She was, she's back home now. She's safe and she's with her boyfriend and she's happy to be back where she is. And she works hard. She works on the show alone. She does editing and... You know, she had her trial there too. Somebody tested positive on the set and they had to shut the whole set down for two weeks and she had to stay in her hotel room for two weeks. <laughs> but I'm like, did they pay you? Did you get paid? She's like, yeah. I'm like, good. That's all that matters. <laughs> At least she was paid. Um, so that's kind of funny, but she's happy to be back home. She's out and about and she takes beautiful pictures. She has a really good camera. So I do. We share a lot. Since I joined Instagram, I get to see all her beautiful work more. I see everything uh, that she posts. So it's always interesting to see some, something through somebody else's eye, especially somebody younger than you. She, she does amazing photos. Which I enjoy. I love photos too. Okay, I'm going to fill in his butt over here. Finish his tail, but I'm going to fill in that uh, little space there. Like I said, I'll leave the link to the song below. And I'll probably pin it. I'm going to be pulling the winner of my last uh, sit and stitch with me video. I was giving away Indigo Lane. And I'm gonna uh, do that on this video because it was a sit and stitch with me video. So I'm gonna post that here. So stick around if you did uh, wanna win that pattern, you might win. On that note, I'm getting closer to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna leave the winner of that pattern my email is always below. Send me your snail mail. Get back to me. And I'll attach that video here. I hope everybody has a great week. Be safe out there. Do what you love. Do what makes you happy. Happy stitching, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm going to be picking the winner, the winner of Indigo Lean. I put in the comments and the URL for the video. So we are going to press start and we will see who the winner is of Indigo Lane. 
Winner is Sue Met, and she says, I would love to stitch Indigo Lane. I always love it when you were stitching it. Okay, Sue. Sue, you are the winner of Indigo Lane. My email address is below. Send me an email with your snail mail address, and I will mail that out to you. Thank you, everyone, for participating. Have a great stitching week.